Hi everyone, welcome to MGS Coaching Football. Coach Sullivan here again with you. Uh, this past fall, I completed my 39th year coaching football as defensive coordinator, and I hope your season was as successful as ours was. In this presentation here, I want to talk to you about one of our packaged plugs in our 3-4 that we call Hoop Tight Bill. Okay, and I, I'll give you the part of the reason why we call it that. I'm going to show it to you versus 11 personnel over here. So in the left column, I'm going to go through the key terms so it'll help you better understand how we execute hoop tight bill. And then over here, I'll, I'll bring it to life for you in the diagram. And the only thing I'm going to talk about in coverage, which we call TRIO, one of our zone blitz coverages. So you'll have to go to the zone blitz coverage playlist, is how we spin the safeties. Okay. So the first key term is package plug. And what we do is we combine an outside linebacker plug, hoop tight, with an inside linebacker plug, Bill. Okay. So hoop tight Bill, the lucky ring goes to the rover. That's the tight part. Okay. We have a, a similar blitz, in fact, it's identical, but we do it to the dime. And so how that is uh, called is in another presentation, okay? So the rover in hoop tight bill plugs a gap, and I'll show that to you. The backer is the bill, he plugs his a gap. Okay, so it's a double a gap plug involving an outside linebacker on one side and the inside linebacker on the opposite side. So bill for us, B, anything begins with B is the backer, bill, B, I, a gap. Okay. Both defensive ends slant B gap. Okay. Because on a hoop tight, D end call side slants B and a bill. D end on the side of the bill slants B. So it's simple for their learning. They both slant B gap. The nose is a little different. Okay. And so I'll talk about that in a second. He's going to delay loop C gap and he has contain if it's pass. And I usually try and call this in a passing situation, not a 50-50, okay? And so because of the technique, he's going to knock back the nose. He's going to count his head, 1,000, 1,002. If, if your nose is a bigger kid that's good A-gap to A-gap, but that's about it, then this isn't the stunt for him. You might have to substitute somebody in. And so that could be a tell. Well, if that's the case, then you execute other pressures with that same defender so that doesn't tip that here comes the hoop type bill right okay and then uh, the third key term here it's good versus all personnel groups 10 11 12 20 21 22 okay it's also number four good versus run or pass because um, sometimes they'll run the ball when you think they're going to throw it right it's good versus zone read power read okay Although not the call that you want to make if you are 100, if you're expecting zone read or power read, but you can act, you can still defend either play. All right. So over here, okay, it's a Ringo because the rover's on the right, and versus 11 personnel or 21 personnel, the rover goes to that tight end, hence the tight call. You see, follow what I'm saying? So even if it's versus 10, the rover knows tight means him. Okay, Ringo triggers Roger, and that's the safety spin, all right? And part of our disguise is the way we line up, and when we blitz, part of the disguise is, unless the safety's blitzing, we do not even move. Ball snapped, they spin, okay? So I'll show you that after I diagram the blitz, okay? So... Over here, it's Ringo, Ringo, Ringo. The safety has sky force, so he's got the force, okay? Ball is snapped. Defensive end call side, slants B. Now, when the rover is going to plug, and he's on the line of scrimmage, he's not detached. He's what we call attached. He's part of the box, right? There's a tight end. He's attached. We say to him, we want your inside toe in the heels of your defensive end, and you just step on his heels. Okay? So, ball snapped. 
that puts him on a course into the A gap, right? So before I get to the nose, let me cover the bill. Ball snapped. You just plug in the A gap, ball snapped, slant B gap. So there it is, right? B, A, A, B. Now the nose, right? Knock back. 1,000, 1,002. He's going to loop, delay loop, C gap, run or pass. And just he's going to have to react to both, okay? We want him, because of the delay, to get across the face of the tackle. And, and again, if it's down blocks or whatnot, he reacts to it. So when you're running this in a team situation or a group run situation, you run it on purpose, gap scheme, he's got to get across the face of that tackle. All right? But right now we'll say it is a pass, so he's going to get the hi-hats. Okay? C gap, right? A, B, C. He's got to get out there and get contained. Here it is. Boom, done. Now, I'm going to get to the coverage, right? It's orbit. He's detached. He's hot on two, hot on one. I'm, I'm not talking about the coverage. Mike Linebacker has running back on the snap. Screws down. Reads the surface. If it's pass, he's hot on the tight end, who's number two. Okay? Same thing. Rotate middle so they spin together. Read surface. They show pass. He's the only deep third guy in the middle, right? He doesn't have a receiver, okay? And that's how we execute hoop tight bill. So they're not used to seeing our outside linebacker who's on a tight end, right? Rushing up through the A gap. 1,000, 1,002. The outside linebacker should be in the A gap by then. If this is a quicker kid, we'll tell him do a three count. If he's a little bit slower, two count, All right? But we make him in the head say Mississippi, one Mississippi. When we first install it, spring preseason, we have him count out loud, okay? So I can hear it so we can get the timing down. So if they're real fast and it screws up the time, you follow what I'm saying? So I want tangible evidence so it can help in the teaching process. So as I said at the beginning, thank you for watching MJS Coaching Football. I hope that your season was as successful as ours was in 2021. If you have any questions, I want you to reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com because I would love to talk football with you.